So today I just decided why not to review latest and new custom ROMs for our Android devices. It's Fahad from Pixel ROMs YouTube channel and today I am back with another amazing custom ROM for our Redmi Note 11. It is the Rising UI 1.2.5 and its Android version is uh, 13 and the security patch is all the way latest 5 July 2023. So this is the all new ROM and it is based on Android 13 for our Redmi Note 11 but it is not that stable but I have installed it so uh, I think why not to review it out and let you guys know before you install this ROM and uh, start getting errors and bugs in this ROM so this is the awareness video plus review plus installation so without any further ado let's get started so first of all let's talk about the noun issues in this ROM. So by the time you just install this ROM, you will not be able to unlock the device even if you are not using a password. You just uh, swipe up to open it out and it will uh, never respond. It will show you the blank uh, screen, only show you the setted wallpaper and whenever uh, you set up any screen lock or set up fingerprint and it will start working perfectly. The other issue I have in this ROM, it doesn't come with a camera application. I just installed a camera application, Google camera, basically this is a Google camera and I just installed it from Play Store and it is not working. So how you can fix these problems? Number one, let's, let me tell you how you can fix the uh, screen lock issue. Just go to the settings and go to security and uh, uh, by chance every security option is available and working properly in this room like screen locks are working face unlock and fingerprint is also working and just set up any lock from this list you can uh, also use a pin or pattern and you can also use a fingerprint after you set up uh, any screen lock it will start working good no need to struggle with the lock screen you can just simply open up this screen by entering the uh, pin code or pattern code or by scanning the fingerprint scanner and uh, if you talk about the camera you can simply install the open camera application from play store just click on it click on open and just allow the permissions and you can start using it out it is working perfectly as you can see here it is capturing the photos and you can record the videos as well the quality of this camera is pretty much decent so other than that let me show you its performance so i had a geekbench test in this room so it just scored four, 419 on single core and it scored 1442 on multi cores so the performance of this room is pretty much average like other rooms so after it let's go to the settings and have a look on the customizations first of all we have the owner option right here by the way the ui of this settings is pretty much unique and uh, can be used with one hand only and uh, if we talk about the quick setting quick settings looks like this and uh, first of all we have the connectivity options then we have personalizations and uh, first of all have we have the about us lock screen settings from here you can enable the uh, always when always show when charging you can also use edge lighting let's enable it so then we have the media cover art and after it here we have misc in the misc we have game space smart pixels you can use smart pixels it gonna reduce this pixel amount from the screen and it will save you a lot of battery then we have system manager weather settings you can also unlock the higher fps in games so you can also enable the unlimited photo storage you can also spoof the netflix and here we also have the android p animation style then we have notifications quick setting settings here we have the brightness percentage battery style and uh, all other things then we have sound settings here we have pulse adaptive playback and uh, volume steps then we have status bar settings and from here you can enable the status bar sorry battery bar 
then we have the battery style right here you can use any of this a lot of styles are available by the way okay and you can also manage the battery percentage so then we have the icon settings and some logo settings you can also enable the logo which is shown right here you can also change the logo position and logo style by default it is only rising then we have user interface from here you can change the phone style system icon pack monad settings and in the monad settings you can use the accent color and do a lot of things let's keep it on and then we have navbar style single icon style system shapes volume panel styles wi-fi icon style and uh, about phone style and other settings always on display is not available in the personalization then we have the display and here we have brightness settings lock screen settings you can enable or disable the dark theme uh, dark theme sorry then we have screen saver then you can manage the display size and text you can also make the text bold and high contrast then we have night light you can also change the live display you can also enable the reading mode right from here you can here we have color collaboration picture adjustments you can also change the color profiles so then we have rotating settings then you can also adjust the peak refresh rate and minimum refresh rate and by the chance we also have the smooth display which will automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 90 hertz while uh, playing games and doing some uh, scrolling on the social media then you have full screen apps display cutout screen saver tap to wake and uh, tap to sleep and we also have the desktop mode then we have wallpaper and style from here you can change the uh, wallpapers google wallpaper application is pre-installed right here a lot of wallpapers are added right here and these wallpapers are online you can change the colors and uh, then we have apps notification battery the battery backup of this room is pretty much good it's the second day i have charged this phone to 100 percent and it's still on 58 percent so it just shows the battery capacity battery cycles battery temperature battery usage here we have the battery saver and the charging controls and adaptive preferences then we have storage sound and vibration and the ui of this rom is pretty much impressive everything just everything gives a new look and here we have all of uh, a lot of options available now playing live caption charging sounds touch sound a lot of sounds are available haptic feedbacks and uh, we don't have anything to enhance the sounding quality but don't worry we have the dolby atmos pre-installed right here so no need to be worry fm radio is also installed and uh, after it we have accessibility security privacy google well-being google system and in the system we have languages input button settings so in the power menu you can also enable the advanced reboot then we have live translate system profiles gestures in the gestures we have quickly quick quick tap to start action so you can just simply double tap on the back and it gonna perform the selected task like i have set it to take screenshot and as you can see here it is just taking the screenshot as well it's a good feature isn't it then we have uh, quickly open camera system navigation bar one handed mode which is pretty much useful then we have lift to check phone access press and hold power button prevent ringing and then we have usb configurations and date and time backup rising os updates and maybe all the issues uh, will be fixed in the upcoming update of rising os so don't be worried about the uh, issues rules multiple user reset and at the about phone section you can check the uh, uh, rising os ui which is 1.2.5 and its android version is 13 rising os version is 1.2.5 as i already told you its security patch is 5 july 2023 so the rom is pretty much <laughs> good and the performance of this rom is also not that bad it is just working okay and it is just working good so 
so if you are looking for a stable rom with a lot of features then this rom is not for you you can install other roms like lineage os sear droid a lot of options and stable options are available there so if you want to try it out and have a look on what's inside it, this rom then you can install it out so the installing process of this rom is shown on the screen the download link of this rom is in the description box so i hope you guys like this video if you really did hit the like button don't forget to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the future updates keep supporting thanks for watching peace